Google Sheets now lets you record macros similar to Excel. I still frequently use Excel because of that feature. Being a teacher, I deal with a lot of data sets, whether it be grade or organizing of classes or assigning uh, particular classes. Macros are exceedingly powerful. Now, Sheets has had the script editor for a long time, which would be like writing your own macros directly, such as in Visual Basic, which is the Excel language. Recording it, though, makes it much easier to automize tasks. Um, it, it just makes people's lives easier. So tools, macros, let's go ahead and test it out. Record macro. And it's pretty straightforward down here. I really like that it shows this recording new macro. It's obvious what is going on. So let's do an example. I'm going to click up here. And so in this macro, it is going to bold row A. It is going to, let's my number, let's do 13. Why not? Pick a color. Purple it is. It's going to take row 13 and turn it to purple. And if you're noticing, each task we do, it actually says down here that it's being recorded, what that task is. So watch, when I alphabetize by last name here, we're still recording the macro, we're gonna go A to Z, action three, sort sheet. So you know it's getting those tasks. All right, now we're gonna hit save. This is where we get to name it. Um, bold color sort. We bolded a line, we add the color to a line, and we sorted. If you do want to use a keyboard shortcut, which could be handy, um, you can go ahead and assign that here. So control alt shift one. Um, and if you have noticed at the bottom right of the screen, it is telling you what keys I press just to make this uh, maybe less confusing. Saving new macro macro saved now if we wanted to take a peek at the script right away the code that is in there we can click this it's going to open up a new tab and here's that script all right we're going to take a look at that later on don't be scared though it looks scary it's not as scary as uh as it looks i assure you so let's go back over here i want to test out this macro so i'm going to go ahead let's get rid of the bold there let's remove the color um, and then let's add well actually let's I'm gonna just move some people around cut paste okay and then I'm gonna get rid of these rows delete those and then I'll also add let's add one more person um, and their name will be, ooh, ooh, I got an idea, Mac, and their last name will be Ro. Pretty proud of this. All right, and let's put them in seventh grade. And color red it is. All right, so now we can go ahead and test out our macro. So it looks like Ro will be somewhere up here. We would want to see K's and L's get moved back up. Row O should be with the R's. Okay, Let's go ahead and see if what we expect happens. Tools, macros, and there it is. Bold color sort. Click. Now we do have to authorize this. It's a, a security check, I guess. They're just making sure you know what you're doing, uh, that you trust it. Obviously, we trust it. I just recorded it. So let's allow it. Now it's gonna run. And it runs simple scripts pretty fast. You can see up there, it let you know. And it looks like success to me. We bolded, this row is now purple, and it has, again, alphabetized our row. So let's go ahead and dive in a bit deeper. Uh, to the power of these macros. I'm gonna go back up here to tools, macros, and let's manage macros. Edit script. 
Another way to get here, if you don't want to go through that actual process, is Tools Script Editor. They are both going to take us to the same place. They're both taking us to the code. So, um, as you can see, here it is, bold sort, bold color sort. We should be able to recognize that. There aren't the spaces, it doesn't look as user friendly, but again, this isn't terribly scary. If we wanna make some small adjustments, uh, let's dive in. So spreadsheet, get range, AA, activate. Okay, so what that would be is the first column, we are activating it. That's me selecting the entire first column. And then right here, range list, set font weight, bold. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens then if I do B, B. Okay, so we're making small adjustments we're having without actually going back through and having to re-record a macro. So B, B, for example. What I think will happen, well, we'll see. Why well, ruin the surprise? I'm gonna undo all this again, reset, We'll leave the alphabetized alone. And then let's see, control, I wonder if this will work. Control, Alt, Shift, one. Oh, and it did, it, it all worked, good. So, why wouldn't it bold this? Ah, I actually know why. Because my expectation was that we changed A, so my hope was that it would bold column B, but it didn't. And I think if I were to hit save, go back here and try this again, we could control alt shift one. Bold row B. Ooh, I should adjust this so we can see all the keyboard, but that's all right. And then what this is showing is we can make small adjustments with having to, with not going back in and having to re-record an entire process. So what else could we do over here? Bold, well, I wonder what other weights are available. These are all things you could Google, set background, I know that this is, it's called a hex code. It is colors um, that the computer, it's the numbers that the computer uses to refer to colors. Now let's look here, get range CC, activate, get active sheet, sort, hmm, three, Oop, didn't mean to do that, true. So this must be where I am alphabetizing. So sort three, True, I wonder what the three could be. I bet column one, column two, column three, it can refer to columns as numbers. So that three is going to be that. Sort three, true. Now let's say I want to do a reverse sort, uh, a sort um, in reverse alphabetical order. Off the top of my head, I don't actually know. What we can do to figure that out I could do a complicated way where I look for that code within JavaScript. That is technically what this is written in. Uh, this macro is within JavaScript. Google Sheets' macros are within JavaScript, uh, which is like Excel. Excel just uses a different language. So it's kind of the under the hood stuff. But if I wanted to make that change without re-recording all of these steps and to make sure I knew how to do it, what I would do is just go back here and I am going to, once again, go to Tools, Macros, Record a Macro. And again, here it is. And let's say I wanna do Reverse Alphabetical. So click Z to A. All right, Sort Sheet, perfect. And I'm just gonna say Reverse. I'm not gonna put a number shortcut here. I'm not gonna really use this. I just wanna get this info. I could click down here to look at what it, what it is, but I believe... If it had not loaded, I would be able to simply click refresh. 
So, reverse alphabetical. Sort sheet three. Well, what's different here? So I know this sort was the, ah, false. I wonder then, I would assume that is what we need to change, okay? Let's go back. I'm gonna mess this all up so we can actually get a good test here. Let's cut that out. Let's paste. And then I'm gonna add just a ZZ. Oop, ZZ, oh, oh. Ooh, that's a new last name, I guess. Alex or whatever. I'm gonna take that down. I'm gonna go ahead and just copy this stuff too. All right, now let's see. Ah, I already forgot a step. I know I did. We must save. It will not update. We added false, but it wouldn't have changed anything unless we save it. So let's go ahead now and do tools, macros, bold color sort. And success. It did go ahead and sort that Z to A. So you can make minor changes without being too intimidated uh, in doing so. If we wanted to get rid of that additional macro that we didn't actually need, we aren't going to use, I can go to macros again, manage macros. And then if I click here on these three dots, I could edit it, but we already have that up. I want to remove it. Macro removed. Update. Okay. It's thinking about it. Let's go up here. Now it's still showing, but if I hit refresh, oh, it leaves the code there. Well, what we could simply do is highlight it and click delete. Let's save it. Okay. This is kind of a basic tutorial, a basic intro to the macro function within Google Sheets. If you're interested in learning more about the coding and being able to do more complicated stuff, I, maybe I shouldn't call it coding because uh, that sounds scary, but kind of building your own macros within this in a way that uh, Excel allows you to do as well. Check out my other videos. If you found this helpful, hit subscribe, hit like, that helps me a lot.